Temporary Duty Handbook, a guide for traveling to site. The purpose of this handbook is to provide proper procedures and guidelines when traveling on official business in support of the program. Traveler is not to overtly identify him or herself as an employee of the National Security Agency or a member of the intelligence community. The program has vehicles available for visiting sites that require U.S. government anonymity. Keys are available from Redacted, Redacted, on the second floor of the Redacted, building and room redacted, and in the file cabinet outside the program director's office. The cover vehicles are leased by the FBI through a commercial cover company. Personnel are aware of the FBI link but have no knowledge of NSA's involvement. No one should ever have contact with a leasing company. These vehicles are for official use only to include the transport of NSA equipment and personnel who actively support NSA FBI programs. These programs currently include Blarney, Fairview, Stormbrew, and Oakstar. In keeping with operational security purposes, FBI recommends following an indirect route between NSA and covert sites. In the case of an accident, contact the police and request an accident report. Identify yourself as a DOD employee, unless reporting your identity could compromise an operation or site. In the event of an accident that could compromise an operation or site, use your personal identification. Arrangements will be made through the FBI to contact all parties to provide correct and accurate information. Check with visit site point of contact for guidance on proper attire prior to traveling. Non-casual attire could cause an operational security red flag. No military uniforms or NSA badges should be worn. The employee should maintain a low profile, decline from venturing off on their own, and always follow the guidance of the program's security representatives. Visits to partner meeting facilities. Titan Point. Coordinate with NSA point of contact redacted, redacted, prior to visit. The Titan Point point of contact will be responsible for notifying FBI site watch officer and coordinating the security related details with the partner. When approaching facility, ring the buzzer and wait for admittance. Blarney Program Engineering Report. Site, Titan Point.
all equipment has been ordered and received. Signal has been duplicated with a 3070 splitter. At this time, we are fully processing the voice over IP and video teleconferencing data and have developed an interim solution for the high data rates on existing architecture. When traveling to the partner's facilities or other program sites such as Titan Point, provide your family with a co-worker's phone number in case of an emergency at home. Family members and co-workers who are not cleared can be given generic travel plans and general purpose for visit. That is, attend technical meetings, site visit, or install equipment. Fairview and Blarney engineers collaborated to enable the delivery of 700 megabits per second of data traffic from the United Nations mission in New York. The initial feedback has been positive. Blarney engineers and analysts indicate high quality in both voice over IP and video teleconference collection. Always be aware of your audience. Remain cognizant of the clearance level of the persons you're speaking or meeting with. Remain courteous to partners. Remember, this is a partnership, not a contractual relationship. 